There's no place like the movies this weekend to see a beloved Hollywood classic that's back on the big screen. We are talking about The Wizard of Oz returning to theaters for its 85th anniversary. And to celebrate the film's rich history, we have a collection of memorabilia right here in our studio brought by Fred Trust with the Wizard of Oz Museum in Cape Canaveral. Fred, thank you so much for bringing all of this. We know that it is precious, uh, it is interesting, and we want to get right through our yellow brick road of uh, decades here, starting for over there. Sure. Okay, of course we have to start with the book because that's the foundation for the movie. So I brought here the first edition book that is the first known copy. What's interesting about that specific copy, it's actually been used in the first production in 1957 on television. It was held by Ray Bolger, who was playing the scarecrow, Liza Minnelli, because Judy Garland couldn't attend, and a guy named uh, Justin Schiller, who is the founder of International Wizard of Oz Club. Okay, so that particular copy. The next piece from 1900 to 1910, to, uh, worth mentioning, is we have out there is the postcard from 1902 Broadway musical. Dave Montgomery and uh, Fred Stone played the first scarecrow and Tin Man on that. If we take it the next decade, from 1910 to 1920, one of the pieces I brought here is the theater magazine, and in the front of that magazine, in the cover of it, is the Billy Burke, who play she played Glinda in the movie. Look at the but wardrobe, that was, right? That is quite and different. And you can even see the year on it. It says it's February 1916. 16. So she's 55 when she was in the movie, wow. but she was way famous before that. Wow, that's From 1920 to 1930, we brought one of the uh, games called Wonderful Game of Oz, and it's the p uh, showing all the characters. The original came in with the pewter pieces and the dice spelled the word wizard. Wow, it's so perfectly okay. preserved. And in other things too, from that area, from 1914, if you look at the book out there called Tic Tac of Oz. Oh, Tic Tac existed back then. <laughs> exactly. That's where they got the name. This is from 1914. <laughs> Frank Baum wrote 14 Oz books, Wizard of Oz movie, only based on the first book, but there's actually 40 official Oz books, and that's what people learn. Uh, have you all had to track crazy. down all of the original owners in order to be able to collect some of these things there at the museum? I did not collect it. Try to get the owners of the books. We have all of them in the, mu in the museum displayed everywhere. Okay. Okay, and here's the how the Tic Tac uh, looks like. We, I brought the figurine of the Tic Tac. It's actually mentioning of the robot in the first time in the English literature in 1907. Okay, so we're hitting to 1930. Uh, that's when the movie came out. So in the movie, we have original Dorothy Dalroy here wow. from 1939. Okay, and another piece uh, worth mentioning right there, you could not see. Uh, out, uh, there's a card signed by all the cast member, with the exception of Billy Burke. So wow. they all signed that. Particular and I can imagine that after the movie came out, then that's when there were so many more even collectible items that people wanted to have in their home after falling in love with the movie. And of course, and that's why I brought the rest of it. So now we got the movie. So <laughs> now we're taking now the next big, step. Yes. Right. 1940s. British manufacturer produced the cards that never been produced in the United States that have a steals from the movie. Oh, of every card have. I wonder why that was never here in this country. Yeah. It would yeah. seem yeah. like never it would done it here. So like that's cakes. what's the unique about from this 1940. When we get to 1950s, uh, you have to realize at the time there was no diapers or there is no scotch tape invented. So people use characters like you see the Toto right there, and there's like actually eight different characters. They can pull the string out of it, out of the mouth, so you can what? wrap the. The I'm thing so I've never seen anything like I'm that. So That's exactly what it is. <laughs> okay, so um, then we have 1960, and you have a jack in a box that people played with in with 1960s. The this is the scarecrow. Oh, that's right. Nice. 1970, we're covering the Wiz musical, and right here we have Michael Jackson signed. He's on down the road. He <laughs> is right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could not open this whole thing, but that's right there. When we're touching 1980s, uh, there was a Disney movie, Return to Us. Okay? It wasn't so popular. It was not so popular in the United States, but worldwide was popular. And we have one of the photographs, actually, with Paul McCartney right there, signed that with the Dorothy characters and the Tin, tin Man. So when we get to 90s, of course, there's a Barbies, 
And <laughs> at the bottom, you will see some unusual Barbies, including Wicked Witch of the East. Everybody know how the Wicked Witch of the West looks like, right, but not uh -huh. Wicked Witch of the East. There's actually, on top of that, we have a, a guard uh, and also the door. Those are the three dolls that I brought it in. Also, in 90s, there was actually, if you look at it, there is a Daytona 500. There is a car that was all around with all the Wizard of Oz characters. Wow, and, and that's, that's all the just before the millennium two. even turned. Fred, yeah. this exactly. is amazing. Oz, wow. And okay. I love that this is all here in our Sunshine State. Thank you so much for bringing it. Okay. And a reminder that you can all go see this for yourselves by visiting the Wizard of Oz Museum in Cape Canaveral. Check out wizardofozflorida.com to learn more. And up